and Ruiz Jr., a uh, former heavyweight, uh, unified heavyweight world champion, of course, has a accepted a challenge from babyface Adam Konaki. And uh, Konaki called him out, you know, for a fight. And Andrews Jr. tweeted on his uh, social media platform saying, I quote, anytime, any place, I meaning he's ready for a fight against, um, you know, the baby face, the Polish, you know, silent killer. You know, well, let's say, some people might say, well, baby face, like, he's not worth it. He's going to get beat by Andrews Jr. Let's not forget that this guy was like, like like at the top getting to the top already he was like a top 10 he's still top 10 every with uh every with uh every with um you see at a top 10 list of of, of best every with fighters you know he's still there so um he, of course his last fight against um the finish in nightmare you know that actually caused him yeah i mean his, his stock dropped but I'm I'm kind of surprised that he's still even more ranked. He's still ranked higher than uh than uh, the Finnish Nightmare, uh, Robert Elinius. What's the take on this uh, Olagi Day? Um, <laughs> well, to me, I feel to me, I think it's a good matchup. To be honest, um. Yeah, it's a good thing at least they both lost, you know, their last fight. And um, one thing I personally would not do is draw the fight uh, based on this last fight. And, uh, you know, it is going to be a good matchup, you know, to see how Karnaki is going to end up being, to see how he's going to end up um, putting himself back up, because obviously, for Karnaki, I like him kind of like putting the fact. I like the fact that he actually came up with a challenge. Like, yeah, calling out and the Ruiz and that. And um, obviously, these are the kind of things I expect Ruiz to do when he lost. Call out someone you know has a bit of a bigger name than you. And then challenge him and see. Maybe accept the challenge, see whatever it is he can do. And to be honest, I see both of them fighting as a 50 50. It ended up happening because. At the end of the day, um, Kanaki has a good way of combination, right? Like a perfect way of combination. And he's that kind of person that doesn't really care. He just works in and works in and works in and stuff like that, right? Why right? under Ruiz as well has got a faster end. So it's going to be a thing of who can rock who down who can break with them and stuff like that so for me i believe it's a good challenge from Kanaki, you know because the thing that is which is a good sign i mean he lost and he's trying to work his way instantly back up which is a good sign for him he doesn't really do well because at the end of the day when they end up fighting and there is has a lot to prove because he can be a once chanced unified every champion and they fight Kanaki and they lose to him again so and there is has a lot to lose but Konaki has nothing to lose at all. But Konaki winning puts him exactly back up again to where he is. So it's a good thing in that for Konaki. And um, we just see whatever happens at the end of the day. Hopefully it happens. It's a good match for them. Yeah, man. I mean, it's a very, very good match. I mean, we all, we all kind of like, we... I remember when while Konaki was still undefeated and all that, I mean, we all like thought maybe a fight between him and Andrew Jr. would be a monstrous fight. And then they lost. And now, um, if the fight happens, I think it's going to be, it's not going to be a walk in the pack. Like, just because Robert Elinius, you know, the Finnish Nightmare, like, beat uh, Konaki, it doesn't, it doesn't mean Andrews Jr. Can, can just walk over him. Andrews Jr. wasn't able to knock, uh, Lesser guy out, you know, guys like um, Rafael Zabadon Love, who just were blasted out easy. He couldn't even stop uh, Kevin Johnson or anything. Like, he, if he, like, he, he's, he's been like prejudged by lesser fighters and before. And I mean, I mean, we couldn't stop guys that, that, that had more losses than winning the record. 
And Rich Nunez, he's not like a, like he does well against taller guys, but when he fights guys of his, of his size, you know, of his height, same height, um, he tends to like have a bit of problem with with them in a way, uh, because he cannot really uh, the illegal punch he always throws, you know, the punch to the back of the head, he always like try try to throw when he's fighting taller guys. He doesn't get a chance to do that with shorter guys, like guys of his size. So it's gonna be, it will be a very good fight, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a boxing fan, so I want to see, I want to see all these fights. I want to see all these fights because we want to see all these matchups. As boxing fans, we should be very, very, you know, happy about this. But we'll see how it goes, man. He's accepted. Um, what's the take on this uh, tie? Well, um, I always like to think now that uh, certain fighters are two sides of the same coin. And that, um, you know, it's a 50 50 fight. You know, whoever, you know, whoever flips that coin, whatever head it lands on, lands on tails, lands on heads, you know, Adam being tails and uh, Ruiz being the heads. So, like I said, 50 50. If you throw up that coin and it lands on heads, it's going to be heads. And uh, Ruiz is going to win. You know, half of these, almost all these fighters have. Um, have a fighter that have that are two sides of the same coin, which are basically almost similar alike, and who could give them a good work. And this this is one of the this is one of the fights. I believe, in my personal opinion, the way Adam Kownacki that we've been we've been saying this for a while. It's it's not like we have been saying this. Kownacki, he um, he he blocks his punch. He blocks punches with his head. And I mean, he he should have won that fight with um, with Robert Hellenius, you know. I don't I I, I don't want him to take the uh, Ruiz fight too early, but you never know, you know. You just never know uh, what what which uh, which what um, which side of the coin is gonna land, so. I really don't know how this fight is going to play out. All I know is, uh, like you said, Raymond, I want the best fights. I really hope we get the best fight because boxing hasn't been on for, what is it, four months now, maybe, almost four months now. So I'm very excited to see what they, what people can bring to the table. I'm very excited. Thanks, brother. I appreciate um, your way to your statement as usual. So for those of you guys who are watching right now, give your thoughts below, like the video, share, subscribe. You know, let us know how you feel about this fight and who do you think uh, will win the fight if it happens. We don't know, but I believe this is a 50-50 fight. This might even they might even throw more punches yet than they than they threw against and uh, in the fight uh, of uh, Ariola and uh, Konaki. You know, Konaki has like uh, Konaski has like a very strong chin you know maybe maybe he just he got caught with you know we have to know that we have to understand that uh robert elenius punches very 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 hard just because you see so many people have knocked him out doesn't mean he doesn't punch his punches very very hard so that's how i see man so like the video share subscribe and uh, stay tuned guys cheers <laughs>